Elimination days, Sweet 16 2.0. Who's gonna walk away with $101,000, Radio vs. the World, and $50,000 next 275? There's parts carnage, engines bought, rebuilt. I mean, just the utter destruction last night as these guys had one more shot to get in. It's gonna be a wild day with upset wins, lots of great action. Check it out. Daniel Ferris comes up Tom Blanco on the far side of the racetrack. Daniel Ferris and his team accomplished two things yesterday. The first was breaking the world record running into the 357 zone. The second was mangling an engine in the process of doing it. So they swapped the new engine into this car. Two and two are 13, and look at Blanco, his quickest pass of his career. Edwards and Marcus Bird coming up right now. Shuts off and Brad Edwards goes 374.6 at 193 miles an hour. Yeah, I mean it's just it's it's the first round. First round's the worst in heads up racing. You know, if, if you get by first round, the rest of the day is just kind of you know do your routine, do your thing. But we we knew Marcus said they had trouble last night, but that car is that car is deadly. Uh, apparently he didn't make it to the 60. His car coughed or something. So I mean we got a little lucky break on it, but. Uh, we still went to 374 at 193. We shut it down early because uh, plug plug wire number eight and four fell off during the run. So I, I've never had that happen. I have no idea what that's about. But. Let's see. The car is a, uh, a, two, a 1997 Ford Cobra, VIN numbered, stock suspension, stock style suspension car. I mean, we've changed everything. We've modified everything, of course. And uh, big block Chevrolet with a billet block in it. And we've re-engineered it from front to back twice. You know, they look at my car as a test bed, so we had wires in it. I, mean, I pulled 16 pounds of wiring out of the car. It hadn't struck a tire since October, so we just keep chipping it and chipping it and chipping it. And, and I watched it go 62 in the heat yesterday on a track everybody was spinning on. So we took the 69 tune up and backed it up a little bit. And, uh, sort of just worked on the tracks control a little bit, you know, trying to make sure if it got in trouble, we didn't put it in the wall. Roots blower and a screw blower. Laughlin running the roots, of course, crew chief by Frank and Madman Taylor. The Salemis working with Paulo Juice running Mike Stewicki horsepower. Oh, Juice goes 24.5, top end of the racetrack. It's Paulo, 368, Woo. 2 at 199. Four six seconds to the split, 979.60 foot time. One of the three, Mickey was a little better, 053. Mickey was then slowing at the 330, and Stravino's in a nitrous car, reversing uh, everything we know about physics and drag racing. Drove around, Mark Mickey in a nitrous car on the way to the finish line. We came here basically untested. New, new combination, new weight combination with me in the car, with Justin out the car, and it is a big deal, the, the difference. Um, we went out there 
pretty much qualifying one all the way to qualifying session number nine, I believe, or eight, whatever it was. We didn't get down one time, <laughs> not one session. I mean, we struggled. We, we're at the point where we we're gonna put the car in the trailer. We are just done. Um, the last qualifier, Justin said, man, I'm gonna go back to what I know. And he prayed to the window of the car, 30 minutes before that round, tore the back end of the car apart, redid everything to what he thought he knew. And we went up there and I, I, I felt okay. I, I wasn't too confident when going up there because of what we went through. And man, it went right down. 368 at 202, I mean, personal best for myself and the car. We got down the track, we'll get data. Um, big countries in there making some adjustments. Um, and I think we'll go right down here. We got uh, Brad Edwards round two. And I mean, you know, I mean, like I said, anyone in the field right now, I think has a fair chance at winning this race. Will we see two diapers cars make the semifinal round? We battled all kind of bugs since we got here. Fuel lines, nitrous solenoids sticking in empty bottles on the starting line, uh, coils going out, plugs not firing, wires not just a constant battle. It's, it's been it's been an uphill battle, but now we got a little luck on our side. What do you guys do with the nitrous bar to, to tune it up? You guys bring in the systems quicker, got to hit it harder. What's what's the game plan? We're we're not going to touch our front half. We're going to leave it alone and we think we can run a 60 so we're going to just bring our power in a little sooner lock it up a little sooner and let the big motor run out the big end Finals, uh, you know, we checked the valves, they found the uh, clearance wasn't right, and one of the valves on the intake had tulip stretched. So, just for precautionary measures, they took the head off and put a new valve in it. These guys are cold with dead gunfires on the starting line. Over 24 a.m. driver of 23 from Paulo during round one elimination. Ferris was also very quick on his side. Got to manage that up here, you can't go too quick. Here comes Dan Ferris pulling the turbos. Second of stage, shallow stage in the race car. Uh, 363 and 213 miles an hour. Two clears going to be moving on. Paulo, you saw a little bit. The track temp went way up. It's the hottest it's been since we've been here. When it gets hotter, we, we start loosening the front end up to try to get that crankshaft up. You get the crankshaft up, it puts Weight on the rear, more traction. We made some chassis adjustments, we made some weight adjustments, moving some weight towards the back to make that round happen. Um, I've got Norman Bryson next round, uh, another nitrous car. Uh, Kevin's got the other nitrous car, so it's it's up to me and him with the boosted combinations to, to shove them out of here. Kevin Rivenbark has looked almost unstoppable this weekend. Miles an hour, 010 reaction time. Hopefully with a decent light, you know, go A to B, we'll, we'll be in the, in the winter circle. I both spun and I didn't see him so I knew I needed to get to the finish line first so worked out in our favor we're just honored to be here thankful probably throw everything we got at it uh, more timing more nitrous move our lock up in sooner 
just turn it all on as soon as we can and see if we can outrun it. It is time, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, everybody watching on the pay-per-view, PTC! This is a $101,000 reaction time, a $101,000 tune-up, a $101,000 moment for Norman Bryson or Kevin Rivenbark. Norman Bryson, who has waded his way through all the rounds of competition and making the final. The biggest, most important single run of his life. Here we go! An authoritative victory as Norman Bryson's car smoked the tires off the starting line. Riven Bar, 048 of the dream. Bryson was 066, and it was over within 60 feet. It's just an unbelievable race car crew, and you know everybody involved from Mr. Mr. And Mrs. Wells and uh, everybody at Proline, Fuel Tech, Pro Charger, and uh, M&M Transmissions. Just everybody who who has pitched in has made this thing a wonderful, wonderful car to drive. Kevin Riven Bart. Uh, Sweet 16 2.0 world champion, $101,000 in cash. Thing looked like it was on rails, man. It looked great out there. Oh, it's been wonderful all weekend. We couldn't ask for a better car. What was the best 60 foot you guys ran? 913. <laughs> 913 on radials. Yeah. Uh, no bars on it. I mean, yeah. congratulations again, Enjoyed man. It. Thank Enjoyed you guys. It. Kevin Rivenbark, Sweet 16, radio versus the world champion. Uh, can't say enough about you guys coming out. Thanks for watching the Sweet 16 2.0.